What you've seen ever since the Trump election in 2016 is a mass exodus of people in the intelligence community because Trump challenged the intelligence community, just like you said, right? And once he challenged it and said, you guys are a bunch of idiots, you keep, you keep calling me a Russian spy, all of a sudden that called into question whether CIA even knew what they were doing. Okay, I wanna talk about the Trump thing. Trump steps in and he chooses not to use CIA yep. for his intelligence? Right. He openly says that? Correct. And then who does he use? He commercializes, he hires commercial intelligence. Wow, that For was example, next. like, a, a, do you know James Baker? Yes. So James, who used, used to work for the CIA, yep. like you, <laughs> used to work, and now he has his own private intelligence firm. So would Trump, I love James, by the way, great guy, we called him for the Netflix show, 100% still works for the CIA. <laughs> 1,000%, I love you, he's so fucking talented, like he can host a comedy show, he'll be on Fox News hosting a show, but 100% still works for the CIA. <laughs> and that's like the best position, which I think you also do, but we'll get to that in a second. Now, he would hire him and then get his intelligence from him right. and his company. right. Got so it. the reason that that works, the, the idea of commercialized intelligence or private intelligence is mm -hmm. what it's called on the inside. Private intelligence is a successful business model because private intelligence can do things that national security governance can't do. For example? Uh, the war on drugs. It's very difficult for you to get congressional funding to fight the war on drugs, doing things as inefficiently as the federal government does them. You gotta send troops, you gotta get orders approved. Like there's a huge cost that comes with all the administrative stuff of getting the government to do something. Okay. In the commercial sector, you basically write them a check for $2 million and say, hey, we need secrets about cocaine drug lords. And then the company does whatever they need to do to get those secrets. So maybe they hire five former SEALs, two former Colombian special forces, two former Mossad, and they go in and maybe they do good things, maybe they do bad things, but they definitely deliver secrets, mm. right? Wow. And that's where private intelligence becomes powerful, and Donald Trump- It's the efficiency of privatization. Donald yeah. Trump knew that and took advantage of that, and as a, as a result of that, he essentially showed in four years that CIA was super powerful, but can be replaced by private intelligence.